when you're eating something, the world is a wonderful place. Now I'm going to show you how you can make a simplified version of this at home. I promise you can do it. I live in Bangkok, so it's super easy for me to find all the stuff that I need to make a Thai Som Tham salad. But I know for you guys it can be a little difficult, so this video is just for you. All right, we're gonna start off by making ourselves a garlic chili paste. And usually you would need one of those special conical mortar and pestles, so not even your regular typical mortar and pestle, you actually need a special conical clay mortar and a wooden pestle. I know most of you guys won't have that at home, so I'm gonna show you a way to get the same texture with your garlic and chili without one of those. And our secret weapon is going to be baking paper, simple. Okay, so on the baking paper, I'm gonna put a couple of cloves of garlic and I just wanna crush those, take the skin off. Even though I live in Bangkok now, I grew up in Australia, as you might be able to tell from the accent, and my family, my mom as well, you know, we're really used to trying to make do with ingredients that we can get a hold of in places other than Thailand. So that's how this recipe and this technique came about. And to these, I'm gonna add my chilies. Now, to me, a classic Thai sum sum is spicy and when you're on the street you order it by the number of chilies and I usually go for a three or four chili sumptam so I'm going to go with three today. So the type of chili you want for this is just a spicy chili whatever sort of local in your area that's really spicy these are what we would call bird's eye chilies in Australia so that's what you want and then because we want to help break down the fibers of the garlic and the chili a little bit I'm going to add a little bit of salt into here as well. Now we turn our baking paper into a little parcel. Fold the sides. So hold on to one side of that little parcel with one hand, take your rolling pin in the other and just give it a really good smashing. And what you're aiming for here is to release all of the chili juices, crush up all of the chili fibers and the garlic fibers. You don't want like a smooth paste, you just kind of want a really good bruising on all of those aromatics. Shake the bag around a little if you get some caught in the sides. So I can see I've got quite a good smash, for want of a better technical term, on my chili and garlic. And now I want to add some roasted peanuts. I don't want these crushed up to the same extent as the garlic and the chili. That's why I'm adding them in afterwards. So just open up your little parcel, pop those in. Okay, and then the same thing again. So much easier than crushing the nuts. And also doing it this way does change the texture. It sort of crushes the peanut, which releases more oils and flavors and aromas rather than just slicing through the peanut, which you won't get as much flavor by doing it that way. There is method to the madness. Now, just open up our little parcel. And so you can see that texture here and that bruising and how the chili has released some of its juice and all of that flavor as well. Okay, so we get this into a bowl, scrape that off. Mm. Already the smell to me is just like a traditional Thai som thang. Okay, now we want some cherry tomatoes. Just cut those. They go into the bowl. And then the other ingredient we have to tackle here is snake beans. So traditionally we would use this long type green bean. It's kind of got a rough texture you can see, but very difficult to get again if you're not in Thailand. So you can just use these regular green beans, French green beans, and I just want a few of those. Let's cut them into short battens. Okay, so they go into our bowl. And here's where we need to do a little bit more crushing with our rolling pin. Just sort of push down on each of those little green beans and bruise them a little bit. And what this does is really open up the green bean so it will start to absorb and cling to the dressing when we put that on a bit later. And then I'm also crushing the cherry tomatoes as I go as well, because that's gonna add to our sauce. Okay, again, that kind of bruise situation is what we're looking for at this point. So now we have to tackle the green papaya. Now, green papaya is simply unripe papaya or pawpaw, whatever you call it in your region of the world. And also very hard to find in a lot of areas. So if you can get green papaya, please go ahead and do that. But at my house, we've often made this with shredded carrot. And you can get carrot already shredded now in your local supermarkets, most of them anyway. So that makes it even easier. So I'm gonna go in with a couple of handfuls. And really here, you're gonna get the same texture. And once you've got that full on dressing, you're gonna get the same sort of idea as a Thai sum thum salad. So to that, I'm gonna add a mixture of sugars. So the traditional ingredient here would be palm sugar. 
Again, if you can't get a hold of that, I'm going to use a little bit of brown sugar and a little bit of white sugar, just to approximate the sort of flavour that you get with palm sugar. And then we want some fish sauce. And of course, we need some lime juice. So I'm making a very simple version of this dish today. At this point, you could add tamarind, you could add shrimp paste, um, you can add a, add a whole bunch of different things, uh, but I'm gonna keep it simple. And so what we need to do now is simply just lightly bruise the carrot strips with our rolling pin. And what this does is sort of amalgamates all of the dressing and all of the flavor and all of the sugar and all those different bits and pieces and turns it into one harmonious dish. And now this dish more so than any other, it's really important for you to try and adjust the seasoning because limes might be a different kind of sour where you are you might have had a different type of brown sugar um, so always taste first mm, I love that the tangy oh the spicy they are hot chilies um, I'm gonna add a little bit more sugar just because to my taste it needs a little bit more sweetness mm, perfect and that's it guys, a Thai stomp dum salad. You can make it home, no special ingredients, no special equipment. All you need now is a little bit of grilled chicken, maybe some rice, some cabbage, whatever you like. Mm. so good.